So here I have the HP Color LaserJet Pro. It is the M277DW model. And I have to tell you that this guy is pretty big. Now I'm not sure how much this thing would weigh, but it isn't very light. So I'm going to just pull off this and I will start to see what's inside. So we get a little how to pull it out. You want to lay it down. You have the installation disc. Okay, so it weighs around 40 pounds. So after we finish with paperwork, we have the full power adapter here. This cord here is for internet, so it's the ethernet, the connection USB printer. So conveniently, they have one here so we can tilt over and have a handle. I'm gonna tug on it, there we go. That's a lot easier. So I'm just gonna lift this beast right here. Tab full. Phone pad off. Well, pretty simple. So we still got some plastic wraps and tie down. So now it's out of the box and you can see how big this thing is. Pretty heavy. But the good thing about that is that you can feel the quality and this reminds me of the ones that you would use in school and you would print out really fast and it has the scanner here where it just reads your paper and it brings it back out and then you can you print everything. And I'm excited to use this thing because I'm going to have a lot of printing labels pretty soon for this little gig that I have. I'm just going to open up here and look at that. It has quite a few moving parts in there that I will definitely learn how this all works. This is where the USB cable will go to the computer, your ethernet, and then you have some telephone lines down here so you can get your fax. Now here I'm going to remove this tape and that should allow me, yep, to open the scanner part. It's a little button here, you press it, opens up and it won't go up without that button press. It's a nice top, there's a power button there and the front just pops down. So we got a little pull out tray here, a little tiny little screen and it might run Android on this. Does it pop off? Nope, it's actually just stays there. There's tray number one and tray number two. So I'm gonna pull out tray number two and I guess it comes all the way out but you see that there's adjusters here for the paper and there's here. So I will just grab this and set this paper. So now I got my paper in there. I can still fill it up a lot more and it goes in pretty good. Doesn't feel like it's going in wrong. And then, and then look over here. It looks like this is some kind of NFC thing or am I just crazy? That's just the little style of a tag or something. Now I can go test. Power in the back, easy. And now I'm going to do its first power up. Make it some noise. Little screens on. So here from my understanding is it's going through all its you know, initial setups and making sure everything's connected. And now it's giving me a choice to do language on the little screen. Oh, it's actually a lot more responsive than I thought it was gonna be. So there's one paper that just got taken out. I'm gonna see if it did anything. No, nothing. So it was just a test that I pulled out. So I'm gonna choose English. Ooh, it's actually sound. Press yes. USA. Self-manage, IT manage, and print information. So we're gonna put self-manage. And now it says copy, scan, and fax. And we can see how responsive the display is very fast. It already has ink out of the box. So I've placed it in my corner here that basically it's going to stay at. This is the only paper I have to test right now. I'm going to just do 20 copies of these and see how fast it will copy the front. So I'm going to do a copy and then I'll push in the numbers here and press to zero and press enter. And there's going to be 20 copies. But if you wanted the front side only, you want to do it facing up. So now I'm going to press color. Press start and see how long it takes to do 20 pages. That's already printing. And that's fast. Like, these all, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, so there's 10 pages, 14 pages, okay, I don't really need to count, it actually says right there, 16 pages, 17, 18, 19, 
20. 20 pages around a minute 15 seconds I would say. So let's see your normal conventional printer do that. Oh, the paperwork. Okay, so now I'm gonna do something bulkier and scan this because obviously I can't copy it. And let's see if that works. Obviously you see you want to get it closed more so the light doesn't leak. And I have a little USB drive here. So I will stick it in. And it says USB flash drive, print documents, view, print, and photos. I'm just gonna press scan. Scanning to USB flash drive. So there's the little thing going on and hopefully it, it worked. It's pretty quick. That's just one go. My USB drive is selected in there and I want to view and print photos. So reading flash drive. That's 1160 photos. So instead of using my computer or cell phone, I can just plug in a USB drive and select which photos I want to print out. And I'm going to print out this one. I select that and it shows me a blurry picture of me jumping in my trampoline. These photos are back from 2006. We're going to print this one out. We select that, press done. 4 by 6 inch, number of copies 1, and if you want to make the picture bigger, you can go to the settings, you can go to the image size, and you can see which size is 4.6 and go into a bigger one. So we're just going to keep it at 4.6, and we're going to press print. So now, we got the printing, and it's coming from the USB. So now let's take a look at it. I selected two of them, I forgot. But look how fast that printed. Pretty, it came out pretty good. I know the quality of from this phone is not good, so you know you'd get better pictures from actual, you know, nice cameras. But now I'm gonna go look for that file that I scanned from the game on my computer. I will insert this drive. So here I have the HP scan. So there's a scan one. And there it is. It actually worked pretty good, you see? Even though with the lid and all it was open, there is the full on scan. And I'm gonna print this. It will come a little dark on the sides and I'm just gonna press print once. And it's already gonna do its thing. And all you can hear is the paperwork being taken. You don't hear like the machine of the ink going around. And there we have it. Um, just touching the paper doesn't look like it's gonna, you know, rub off on you. But there's the printout. It does make the page feel glossy. Because the paper is obviously not glossy. But the laser ink print looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna connect to Wi-Fi. So you don't need to have internet at home. You can literally just connect into it and see status on Wi-Fi. So you can connect your device. Go into your Wi-Fi on your phone. Or tablet and you can connect directly to the laser jet and we are connected so now that I'm synced with my phone to there I'd be able to pick documents to print over to the HB laser jet but if I do go away with Wi-Fi when you go to your network you can you know set it up that way you'll be able to send over and print things while you're away at home without having to be here when the printer is not in use you can see that it just blinks telling you it's in standby mode. You do not need to hit the power, you can just touch it and it turns back on very quickly. I'm currently giving this internet with my phone, I'm gonna go into apps. If you want to look at this a lot better angle, then you can just, as you see, we got view and print and scan and upload. So if you have stuff on your drive now, you can see what you've saved and let's click on Ivy. So let's click on this top one and we're going to press print. So this is gonna print online off of my Google Drive. So what I should be printing is this photo right here. There we have it. This is just plain paper so you would want to get photo paper and actually go into the settings and select photo quality. But this is just, you know, text print and it looks great already. And at this point, if you want to scan something now, and upload it to your Google Drive so that you can have it on your phone, vice versa. And just to see what else is in... We got Disney and Angry Birds that we could probably play on this. As everything else loads with my slow phone data right now. You can get more if you like. So just before I leave you with my review, this printer in particular is Laser 
printed. So it doesn't have the conventional ink that you buy with the cartridge that dry up if you don't use them. Those ones are not cool for me. I've had so many that just dry up and just die off really quickly. Since so pulling this down, we will get into the laser ink. Is that these individually are laser focused. Don't want to touch them. So make sure it's always nicely kept in. And that's what's supposed to last around, I think, 3,000 pages of printing or more. I will add in the description if I'm wrong. I've been using this for over three days and I love everything about it. The Jet Pro part definitely makes me feel like a pro owning this thing. It gets a thumbs up for me, especially with the name brand that I trust, HP, with my other devices like computer and Chromebooks and past printers I've used have been HP for a reason. Thank you for watching. I hope this review helped you out. My name's Albert, and I'm going to go back to enjoying my printing. And who knows, maybe I'll see you around.